What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Brendan and I'm BmanX45 and today we're coming at you with another video. We have a small hobby news video where we'll be talking about a few things, uh, just what we're planning next while we wait for more information on BT16. I know we haven't had a lot of content up on the channel uh, lately and that's due to the fact that I was not home this weekend. I had a lot going on and so I was not here. Unfortunately, we had to skip our market analysis. I wanted to have that up for Saturday, but unfortunately did not have any time to prepare that. So we'll probably be doing one uh, this week, uh, uh, hopefully. And uh, we're going to be doing some other things. We have another deck profile that I want to do. Maybe two, we'll see. Um, and uh, some other things that we want to get into. Uh, and hey, if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to smash that like button, comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of the fun. All right, without further ado, we have our hobby news uh, so side of note. I printed a little cool Agumon 3D printed s silhouette. I had to like scale this guy up when it, when I got the file. It was like 100% <laughs> was like this big. And then I scaled him up to like 1200% and got like a decent size one. This is pretty cool. Uh, it's all right. Uh, the, you're going to paint the eyes and the... Uh, toes so they kind of stand out and then the gold looks actually really good on it and uh yeah and the teeth didn't turn out that well like there's you know, there's two teeth here and there's a couple right here but the front ones ended up going by so unfortunately that so uh we've reprinted some models so that's kind of nice um and then uh also looking at a few things that we're going to be doing I, I do have another deck profile i want to put up uh, Numamon, I've been playing it a little bit. It's such, it's such a fun deck. Uh, it's a really cool black deck. So I definitely want to showcase that one. I might do um, Sovereigns if there's enough interest. If people tell me that they want to see a Four Sovereigns deck, I will put that up on the channel. So we'll do that as well. Um, we've talked a lot about this stuff. We've done talked about the new Premium Heroine set, the Adventure Box. Um, I still think it's hilarious. That we're getting another set of reprints of these right before we get another set of reprints of these and then get another pr print of vmont <laughs> so that's just hilarious how much they're doing that um but the adventure box is kind of cool because you do get better pull ratios than double packs and you're getting two of these so for some people they were hard to get so that's kind of nice um and then of course we have the evolution cup in may hoping to see those cards those all look amazing, and uh, I'm really hoping to pick some of those up as well. And we talked about the pre-release tournament. We talked about all this stuff. Um, one thing that I am going to be definitely doing real soon is we're going to have our card overview for uh, BT16. We just looked at the basic points of the set. We're going to do a card overview like we usually do, where we kind of go through, pick out the decks that we're really interested in, and kind of show you some of the things that's coming up. The nice thing is you can do that fairly easily with um, the fact that the Japanese is always out before the English. So some something that's been really easy with that is is that I can go to the Japanese site and I can see all those re the reveals and then you can see them in English, which was really great. Uh, which is funny because when we get to the simultaneous translation update, we're not going to be able to do that. We're going to get the release cards at the same time Japan is. So it's going to be a few at a time right before the set comes out. So that's going to be unfortunate. That's one of the things I'm going to miss about having the Japanese be ahead of us is the ability to look ahead and kind of see the whole set as a whole. But we'll see how that works out in the future. But for right now, until we get to that simultaneous uh, release schedule, we're going to still be able to get that ahead of the Japanese sets. Right now they're showing off EX7, I want to say. In the, in the Japanese, uh, which is the Liberator set. One thing that I really hope that we do get is reprints of the Liberator uh, cards. So that's, you know, uh, Shoto, Kazuma, um, uh, Teromon, Galemon, the promos that came out at Nationals. A lot of people are looking for them, being as that they're going to become big parts of the game when we get uh, the Liberator uh, set and the Liberator decks. So I'm really hoping that we do see... <coughs> That we do see better, you know, like preprints because those cards were nationals only. So they're kind of like, you know, almost like the Digimon Survive cards, which are all now finally getting reprints in uh, in the uh, 
next tournament kit, but we already had Tamer Party reprints of the main three that you got in the game, and uh, and that was nice, although those, those were hard to get as well. Uh, they weren't reprints of the actual original arts, but they were, you know, nice alt arts uh, and a way to get them beyond buying the game. Well, you can't even get them from buying the game because I bought the game and I didn't get them. You had to go to a con, basically, to get them. So I'm hoping that, you know, I'm just hoping that they do put that stuff out there. It kind of sucks because this set has literally no box toppers. This would have been a great time to include that or maybe LM cards or maybe... Um, What's the other one? Uh, it would have been great to include cards like uh, the um, illustration pack in another uh, box topper, but they decided against that, and that's unfortunate because I feel like it's a waste of BT16 because now we have to look forward to August. Maybe, maybe EX7. Um, maybe EX7 has some stuff. Um, sorry. So that means Liberator's EX. No. Oh yeah, sorry, not EX7, EX6, because the Infernal Ascension is EX6. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. But anyways, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, that I really hope we see some good box toppers that give us that stuff and give us greater access to that stuff. Um, this stuff's all cool and it's coming up, but I mean, there's other stuff that they're not doing like that that just kind of, you know, drives the prices of cards up, and that's unfortunate. But uh, that is about it. Like I said, we will have that content up. Uh, soon we'll be hopefully be doing uh, a little more videos this week to make up for the weekend and uh, stay tuned for uh, what we're doing and let us know in the comments what you like to see do you want to see a four sovereigns deck profile uh, if i get enough you know people asking me about it i will definitely do it uh, looks like that's all the time we have for this video thank you very much for tuning in and we hope to see you in the next video as always have a wonderful day and that's all for now folks